here are all the games that I beat for April. So the very first game that I beat was Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Kirby is sucked into a vortex and he has to get out, but he has to figure out what's going on in the new worlds, only to find out that the Waddle Dees are being stolen and he has to rescue them. I love this game. It was a fun open world game. It was a little linear, but I wasn't minding that. I liked that you got new powers, you got to figure out the world, all the stuff that was going on with Kirby. <laughs> And I liked that he was saving the Waddle Dees, and the more Waddle Dees you found, it would open up the gate for the next one, so you had to work to get as many as you could. So I liked the little added element to it. Um, I do love Kirby, so I liked that they made it and expanded upon. It kind of reminds me of Mario Odyssey meets, you know, like a Zelda's game for Breath of the Wild. So definitely recommend this if you have not tried this one out yet. The next game is no Straight Roads, NSR. That is Zook and Mayday. You are playing two characters that are going to a contest to try to win, kind of like American Idol, only to be told that Rock sucks and that they are not good at all. And they got their meter as high as they could, but still nothing. And they were going home feeling defeated, only to find out that because of this, Rock is banned everywhere and that they don't want to hear Rock from anybody anymore. So they are trying to stop it. It's an adventure game with a hack and slash feel. You have to use your characters and hit the enemies to the beat, kind of like um, Hi-Fi Rush a little bit. But I liked it. I enjoyed it. It was a fun time. So definitely recommend if you have not tried this one out yet. The next game is Spider-Man Miles Morales. This was on the PlayStation 5. I had a fun time with it. Uh, you are Miles. You are finding out that Peter Parker is leaving for a trip just because there's two Spider-Men now so he can go take a vacation. He hasn't taken in a long time. So you have to learn your powers as Miles. He swings around. He's very wonky with his swinging mechanics. You have to get him good at it. You have to learn how to fight. You have to learn how to do all this other stuff. So I loved it. It was a great game. Highly recommend it if you're into Spider-Man. I can't wait for the new Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2. I want to see what they do and expand upon this. This, Even though it was a DLC technically, it was a good game. After that, I played Tekken 2. I saw it was on the PlayStation Plus, uh, PlayStation Premiere Game Pass, and I wanted to see what was all the rage for the ports. And sadly, the port is not 100% perfect. Um, not all the combos go through, so when you're playing it, you might see some delay, and I just had to use the power moves for Heihachi all the way through. Defeated the devil, got done, and threw the sun off the cliff like I normally see all the time. It's a staple with Tekken, but I had a fun time with the fighter. I hadn't played in a long time, and I wanted to pop it in and get going with that one. Then I played another fighter, Injustice Gods Among Us. This is the first game to the Injustice series, I played Injustice 2 and didn't know anything about it and then I was like, oh snap, okay, let's go through this. So you're playing as all the characters, you take turns, so you might play as Flash one time, Superman the next time, but you, you go through, it's like Mortal Kombat, you have to learn all the characters a little bit just to know all the fight styles. So highly recommend this fighter if you haven't tried it out, it's definitely worth your time. Then I played one of my first ever virtual boy games and that is Panic Bomber. I had not played any virtual games really and beat them. I don't think, I think I beat maybe just one of the Mario games, but that was it. So I saw on the list that there was a puzzle battle system like Puyo Puyo Tetris. Liked it. I enjoyed it. It's very difficult for Panic Bomber. I played all the way through and had to like play the character and defeat them multiple times. So at least the continues are endless, but Oh boy, you had to like just drop the the whatever they are. I don't know if they're like bombs or whatever and just collect as many bombs as you can because if you keep just exploding like three or four at a time, it wouldn't stack up and just like you have to like make the AI suffer <laughs> and that was the only way it would work. So I highly recommend Panic Bomber for the Virtual Boy. I believe it's on the Game Boy. I don't know for sure. If you know in the comments, let me know for if there is a Game Boy version of Panic Bomber. But if not, definitely try it on the Virtual Boy. I know there's ROMs of this game. Then the fighters keep rolling in. Um, I played on the Neo Geo Pocket Color. 
it was King of Fighters R2. This one, the fight system is you play as three characters. I picked Ryu, Terry, and I believe it's Koryo. I'm not sure you could correct me if I'm saying the name wrong. But um, you play and you battle, and it's a weird system to get used to at first. You'll battle three characters, and then you think you're going to battle three characters to the very end. But you'll battle one character who's very difficult to beat. So it'll be three, one, three, one. So you have to be prepared for when the one character shows up that you might go through two characters before you finally defeat that character. And it was fun. I had a great time with the story. I liked it. It's like a normal King of Fighters game where you have the big, the big bad guy at the very end who has two forms. I'm getting used to the Neo Geo Pocket Color Fighters where there's two forms. So this time I wasn't surprised by it, but Highly recommend it if you have a Neo Geo Pocket Color or if you can find the ROM. And again, another fighter. This one is on the Game Boy Advance and that is Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. Uh, this fight's like Mortal Kombat 4, but a little bit different. The only thing that irritated me with what the AI would do is they would sidestep and you would just be spinning for like a couple minutes. <laughs> and I'm like, make up your mind, battle me, block, do something, but it would just spin the AI would spin and spin and spin, and it, I think it was trying to get you disoriented, but it didn't work. It just irritated me. So if you play Deadly Alliance, be prepared for the sidestepping of non-endless like circles. Just, I don't get it. So I played a Scorpion. I enjoyed the story. Um, I had a fun time with it. It's normal Scorpion. I don't really have to explain anything. You just, you're battling, you see the end of what he did for his uh, game at that time. So I have a fun time with it. You're gonna enjoy it. After that, I decided to play an action game and that is Concrete Genie. This is a game where you are a little kid named Ash and you find out that your art is the bully's favorite thing to destroy. So you try to avoid them as much as possible through the game, but eventually they find you and they destroy your book and they rip the pages and they throw them off into the city and you see your pages just floating and they're sitting there on the side so your adventure starts by getting away from the bullies and finding your art. As you look for your art you find out that your art is coming to life and you can paint them on the wall and then the little creatures come to life and they're your little genies. Um, there's so many good ones, they're cute. Um, you can make them your own. Every genie that you make you start and you get little templates and you decide what they're gonna look like they follow you around, they help you out, you'll be getting like a like a little puzzle like in the environment, like you have to destroy this platform or you have to get like a cart moved. So they'll help you out. They'll move the cart or one of them could be electricity and it'll light up the thing for you to be able to see or to power something on. And I loved the game. It was a great game. It was very fun. I would sit there sometimes for a few minutes and just paint the walls, even though I wasn't supposed to. You're only supposed to paint certain sections of the city. I just kept painting the city. I had a good time. I would get new templates for different things. You could get a sun, a moon, a rainbow. You get grass, trees, different forms of weeds and different things. And they all light up the whole city and make it brighter. And you're trying to get yourself used to like building what you can with everything you have. And you make like little masterpieces for your genies to like be happy. And they're like, oh, I want some trees. They'll ask you like, can you paint some trees over here or paint a flower or can you paint this for me? And then you'll see little hearts and you, they know the, they're happy and that you're doing a good job for them. And eventually a darkness comes in and you're trying to get rid of the darkness and it just envelops the genies and you have to help them from becoming bad and you have to keep avoiding the bit the bullies so it's a fun game i had a great time with it i recommend it it's on playstation 4 and 5 i don't know if it's on the other games i believe it is on xbox but definitely a fun game to play it's called trials of the blood dragon this one i played on playstation as well it's kind of like an evil knievel game where the mechanics are you are driving a motorcycle or a bike and you have to use the physics to keep it balanced and not fall over. Uh, you're playing as Roxanne and Slater and the whole time you're playing as the, the brother and sister duo you have to save your father. Your father is a, a military man who has been corrupted and you have to stop whatever bad guys or the corporation from getting in and hurting your father and getting everything okay. 
I liked it because you would come back to their room and you would see a new like a new poster or there would be like stickers. It reminded me so much of the 80s and early 90s that I loved this game. It was a fun time. Uh, a little challenging. You get a grappling hook eventually and you have to like use the mechanics and the grappling hook and different things like that. The only good thing I liked is there's checkpoints. The checkpoint system is forgiving. So eventually you get to that point where you're like, okay, I got to make to this checkpoint and just learn the little section at a time. You're trying to beat the time, but if you don't beat the time, it's not going to destroy you. It's just you won't get whatever that is offering you at the time for the, the trial. But love the game. Had a great time with it. Recommend this one. And the very last game is Tetris Plus 2. I played this and beat this on stream. It's a funny, funny game. You're playing Tetris, but you're trying to get to the bottom with your little character. Uh, you're either the professor or you're the, the assistant and you try to get them off of the blocks and have them fall to the bottom where the door is. But the one thing is they climb up. So you have to make sure that you don't build up too high because eventually you climb back up and the character will be there next to the spikes that are dropping down the traps that have been set in the pyramid. You're going through the pyramid exploring and you find characters along the way and you're trying to like figure out what's happening in this pyramid. You're just like, oh, these are strange aliens, strange creatures, strange ancient people. That's all they keep saying is they're strange. I loved it. It was funny. The ending is hilarious. I'm not going to spoil the ending for anybody who hadn't seen the stream. Definitely check out the ending. If you want to play it, try it out. I, I laughed. I had a good time with it. It was a fun, fun game. And there you have it, everybody. I beat 11 games for this month. Let me know what were some of your highlights for the month. If you're new, hit the sub button. Helps out the channel. Give it a like, and I'll catch you next video. Game on, everybody. Keep on gaming. the gamer gal she's here she's playing games